In this video, I'll tell you how to use the power of AI on any website. Just type slash AI and ask your queries to AI to do stuff for you. You can use it on Gmail, you can use it on Twitter, you can use it on LinkedIn, you can use it on Facebook, Google Sheet, and on Reddit. All you need to do is type slash AI, colon, and then write uh, ask AI whatever you want it to do, and it will do it for you in just seconds. The app name is Web Copilot, and in this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to get started. So the first step will be to enter your email ID and you'll be redirected to the installation page. So I'll enter my email ID here and I will click on install add-on. Once you will click that, you'll be redirected to a Chrome web store where you can click on add to Chrome. Now I have already added it over here. It was not visible because I'm doing the development, but you can see it. Um, so here is how the extension will look like on your um, taskbar. You can just click on pin so that it stays there. Now what you need to do is enter your email ID. So we will enter the email ID and we will click on send OTP. Just give it a second and it will send an OTP on your email ID. Perfect. Now, if I see here, I have an OTP. I'll copy that and I'll come back to the extension, paste the OTP and click on check OTP and log in. So you'll just click on that. Now it will ask you for an OpenAI license scheme. If you don't know how to create that, you can just check out this video where I'll show you how to create uh, an OpenAI account. And after you're done doing that, you'll be, you can visit this particular URL, click on create new secret key. I'll name this uh, web copilot test. So I'll go here, paste the key and click on save. That's all. Now let's try, try using it. So the first example is of Gmail. So I have a prompt ready here and I'm going to copy that for Gmail. So what happened is I got an email from Ben Collins team. So basically um, he's someone who creates a lot of Google Sheet um, tutorials and everything and he wants uh, to know if I'm interested in, um, you know, uh, sponsoring uh, the newsletter. Now I want to reply to this particular email, but I I'm feeling you know my work is like I am 7 p.m. Um, till work. I'm quite exhausted, and I just want to I want to reply to this email, but I don't have the energy. So I'll use AI to do this for me. All I do all I do is I just say AI colon make sure this is exact because this is how we will detect your talk, you want to talk to AI. I will copy the whole text. Now you see I did this three dash dash dash. This is more of a way how I prompt because I want to make sure it's clear to AI that okay, this was the message sent and this is what I want to do. Then I basically said, tell yes, I am interested but want to know about example of the placement and some proof of the open rate and click through it. And in the end, I mentioned keep it short. Okay, once you enter the whole prompt, you have to end it with a semicolon. So I am a developer. so. I end every line of my code with a semicolon. So that's how I made the extension to work. Once you do that, just hit space. Now you should be able to see a loading option somewhere. Let me check. Okay, probably this page was already open. Now this will happen, of course. I need to reload this page because if your extension was newly installed and something like that, or maybe you added the key recently, so this can happen. So just reload. And then I'll just, okay, you see it's happening. It's loading. And here's the AI response in like second. Yes, I'm interested in the, uh, can you please provide example of additionally, I would like to see proof of the last email. Awesome, awesome, right? So this is like generated by AI. Now next stuff, we will go on Twitter. Let's check on Twitter. I'll just type, let me copy the prompt. So this prompt, actually, I got it from a website. I want to act you like a social media expert. So basically, like, um, I just entered the same thing on Twitter and let's give it a try. Perfect. You see, you have a tweet ready, man. If you want, um, like, for example, if you want this to be like, you know, keep it uh, till 280 characters, I can actually mention that. Now, let's see on how it will work on LinkedIn. I'll paste the same prompt. And uh, you see the loading is happening. So the way you'll be able to use AI is to make sure you have slash AI colon and then you have semicolon in the end. 
whatever is in the middle will be sent to the AI and AI will answer that accordingly. You see, this is generated um, here as well. Next stuff, um, I can show you how it works on different websites, but I hope you kind of get a gist of it, of like how it works and everywhere. So yeah, give Web Copilot AI a try and make sure to leave a review. Um, I'm sorry, there has been some time when the extension was not working properly, um, but uh, I'm actively working on it. So feel free to share your ex uh, feedback and I'll make sure to improve the application accordingly. Thank you very much.